Gemini, welcome to my channel. I'm the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your mid-August readings. <clears throat> it's a little bit late, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, at least it is a day or so. So, um, <clears throat> lots of interesting things happening here. Um, we have Venus that's gone into Cancer. So Venus is um, the feminine side of our love relationships and stuff. Which is in, in Cancer at the moment, which is a very emotional sign. So yeah, just realize that you're going to be a little bit more sensitive and you're going to, you might overreact a little bit on a few things. Um, so yes, we have the new moon in Leo. I've just finished all of those readings. So that's also very interesting to see where your energy goes for that. Um, also, what I want to say is this is a general reading. So everything goes. Um, love relationships romance friendships career wh whatever whatever goes for you normally normally these tend to go to love um but it also goes to your career and whatever when i talk about divine masculine or divine feminine um i do talk about the divine masculine and fem feminine within every single one of you inside of yourself but i might also refer to the actual physical people in your world um this is the year of sacred relationships coming back into union so in saying all of that energies can be reversed um it's it might be you it might be um speaking to your person or whatever or to your career or, or however whatever resonates with you please take it that way whatever doesn't please um just let it be um also time is fluid so this is something that you might encounter in the future you might actually be busy with the energies that's happening here or you actually might have just gone through those so this is just for clarity purposes um uh, welcome to my cross watchers i know that you that you do come and watch these things for relationships specifically so guys please take what resonates what doesn't please just let that go so let's see what is happening for Gemini in the last part of August. And we have clean it up. Okay, so I feel that things might have been happening in the first part of August and that you might have been working through. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is specifically because of this new moon in Leo phase that we're entering now um, on the 18th or 19th, depending on where in the world you are. So for old cycles to come to an end and for new cycles to start, um, sometimes we do have a bit of cleaning up to do. And I think in your case, this is, this is quite something. Um, wow, I'm, I'm actually going to take this. Wow, yeah, I'm so taking this. Okay. <laughs> so the masters we're working with here, goodness gracious, is Master Jesus and Mother Mary. Wow. This is quite awesome. Um, Master Jesus, forgiveness, you are on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. And Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Guys, do you have any idea how significant this is? This is father and mother healing possible at exactly the same time. This is quite huge. I do feel for you guys, this, um, I do feel that you have quite a bit of cleaning up to do. Um, and I think it's around old relationships and um, old, stagnant, how do I say this? Old cycles, old patterns, um, old things that does not serve you any longer. And I think it's, I think it's, I think it's your lineage. I think it's the way that you grew up. I think it's the way that you've been brought up in the world. I think it's old programming. Um, I feel that this new moon in Leo, and I, I, I'm sorry, but I do not remember what your reading was for the new moon in Leo. Please take the time and do watch that. Um, 
gosh guys i feel that th this has got a lot to do with you are leaving the old paradigm behind and you are creating a new paradigm for yourself like a, a whole new paradigm this is what i'm getting from this and it is huge and it is significant and the stuff that you're cleaning up or cleaning out is that old programming that does not serve you or the world or the people in your life any longer wow this is beautiful so guys let's see what comes out um this is the psychic tarot from john holland um i'm going to draw a few cards here and then i'm also going to draw a few normal tarot cards um to put some meat on this situation to see where we're going with this so i'm going to draw three cards and with a bit of tarot and then at the end i'm going to draw an outcome of the reading and i'm going to give you a card of guidance so Thank you, spirits and angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have three cards for Gemini to see how the rest of August will be playing out around them? Please, can we have three cards for Gemini? Woo! Okay, I'm going to take those two. Wow, you see? We have Heart Chakra. And we have Heartache and Loss. <coughs> wow. I do feel that I want to do this because I feel that this is your way of progress and I'm going to tell you why just now and we have one more card for Gemini please for the last part of August Eek. okay I'm gonna take that one okay see and there's the five interesting oh look love begins fertility wow guys this is this is beautiful but we're not <laughs> sorry I'm not gonna take them all I'm gonna take that one okay so, because this, yes, actually makes total sense. Wow, I like this, I really do. Okay, what, yes, I think I'm gonna use this one. Let me just give it a shuffle. Oh, and the tower shows its face. <laughs> but I do think the tower happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you think the tower happened already? Which is probably why you are in this energy of heartache and loss. So this is for Gemini. Oh my goodness. This is for Gemini for the last two weeks of August. Okay. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have two cards on heartache and loss? Can we please have two cards on heartache and loss? Two cards on heartache and loss. What was what is this heartache and loss all about? What is the heartache and loss about? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. So we have the three of earth and the eight of earth. Wow, guys, these, both these cards are cards of working together, of cards of working towards something, but working in partnership with someone or something. Um, heart chakra, we have the six of fire, and this is victory. And we have patience. Wow, so just be patient. Um, on accelerated motion, we have the high priestess, and we have the ten of air. Okay, so let's see what this is about. With heartache and loss, the three of earth and the three and the eight of earth, like I said, this is this is heartache and loss, and see there's a three, which which is the reason why I changed these two cards around because I think this is where you've been and this is where you're walking towards. So you have heartache and loss here, and then you have the three of earth and the eight of the eight of earth. Now I asked these i asked for clarifiers for these cards so this clarifies the heartache and loss and i feel here that the reason why you have heartache and loss is because you you're trying to do things on your own and you really shouldn't you should the, the people that wants to come into your life um the people that want to love you and that want to help you and to work with you I think you need to to allow them because this is what 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 this tells me. It's both pentacle cards. 
Um, so in order for things to to get manifested and to get grounded um, into your reality, I, I really do feel that you need to allow the people that want to love you and want to help you to come into your life. And in order for you to do that, you will have to open your heart chakra, which is the reason why I change these cards around, because if you can see that as a three and this is a four, this is your next step. So this is something that I feel you need to work on for the rest of August is to open your heart chakra, to allow this love um, to come in. And what I feel about this with father and mother energy, the reason why there's healing that comes in um, for specifically father and mother energies, remember it's the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies that's inside each of us. And that's how we get our balance is by these two, um, now I don't have a card, it's the yin yang, a sign is it's perfect balance see so if you want to be in balance and if you want to allow things to happen in your life you need to allow the masculine and the feminine energies to merge and to become a balanced unity and this is specifically done in the heart um you need to find forgiveness for whatever has happened in your life either in in your relationships with your family growing up, in the relationships with your significant others, um, if you were married to someone or in a very strong or um, very um, serious relationship and you got hurt and, and you know, that's what the heartache and loss talks about is you don't want to open your heart chakra. You don't want people to come in and help you and love you because of this hurt. And this is where Master Jesus comes in to tell you, it's time for you to forgive these people, these energies in your life. It's time for you to open your heart to love and to peace. That's the only way forwards for you. And this is, this is the six of wands. It's victory. And if you look at it quickly, it, it almost looks like little hearts there. <laughs> well, to me anyway. <laughs> so this, this is victory. So it tells me that you will be opening your heart chakra and you will be victorious, but you need to be patient with yourself. Um, interestingly enough, this is a one and a four, which comes to a five. So maybe we should do that. And then it's, then it's the three and the four and the five and the six. See, if you have patience with yourself, if you're patient enough with yourself and you forgive yourself and you forgive the energies around you, you will be victorious in opening your heart chakra, which will then in turn give you this accelerated motion, which is an eight, which is a double four. See? So by following the steps that you are being guided with, and this is this is a high priestess this is intuition this is following your intuition this is listening to your innermost self to your heart to your soul this is this is you following the steps because you are so so tired this is the ten of swords you have been stabbed in the back so many times so many times that's why it's difficult for you to open your heart but have patience with yourself follow the steps Follow the guidance that your soul wants to give you and this will lead you to accelerated motion. This will lead you to where you want to be in your life. And I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter how closed off you are. Every single human on this planet wants love and affection and a partner and someone that just wants... that. that Someone that loves you, someone that's with you, someone that you can share your life with. And that is the, the accelerated motion that you are going towards because you feel called to this place. Okay, so um, I'm going to get three cards for the outcome of this reading from this deck. I love you using different decks. Um, that's also part of the reason why I don't use reverse um, cards in reverse. I don't read reversals. I, I, I just don't. Um, I feel reversals are a bit negative and I feel that if there's something that Spirit wants to warn us about, there's enough cards and enough decks um, to give us what we need to know. This is the good tarot. 
And I love this deck because it's so positive and it's so loving. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have three cards for the outcome for Gemini's beautiful reading for the rest of August 2020, please? Mid-August 2020, the outcome for Gemini's reading, please. Can we have three cards for the outcome for Gemini's reading, please? Okay, let's see what we've got. We have the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Fire, which is the Nine of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, but the one that is pushing forwards. And we have Call. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, I am going to draw a few cards on this as well. What I see here for now is, this is a passionate new start. This accelerated motion is bringing you to a passionate new start. Um, and yes, you are wounded, but you're the wounded warrior and you're the one that wants to push forward. There's so much fire in this reading. Um, we have the six of fire, we have the ace of fire, we have the nine of fire. You might be dealing with a, with a Sagittarius or someone that's got very strong fire in their chart. Um, there's a little bit of air here and then there's the pentacles. This, this is the call of your soul. This is what is your soul calling you to do? In a normal tarot deck, um, this would be, what would it be? Hmm, I think it's the magician. No, hold on, hold on one second, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me just see. Let me just see, my mind just went blank. Hold on. I just want to make sure. Purpose and true prosperity. I have everything I need right now to move forward with purpose. I'm being called into a deeper and more authentic relationship with myself, my higher power, and with others. I'm here for a reason. I'm required to step forward into my true self, expressing that through my actions. I need to trust that my life has a purpose, that I am enough, and that within me is a divine blueprint that has meaning for myself and for others. I think this is the Empress, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so yeah, um, this is the call of your soul. What is your soul calling you to do? Where is your soul calling you to? So let's get some clarifying cards on your outcome, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit Angels, for your guidance, please. Can we have two cards for the Ace of Fire? Why is the Ace of Fire here? What new passionate beginning, wow, is the Ace talking about? Four of Pentacles, that's you holding on to something, either money or love or something. Okay, we have two more. Wow, yes, there we go, that's why there's, there's three now. Okay. So guys, we have this passionate new beginning, okay? The first card that came out is the Four of Pentacles and I said, this is you holding on to your money or holding on to your heart, or holding on to love, not letting it go. This is you holding back. And this came out next, which means this is the death of it. You're not gonna hold back any longer and this is where it's leading you. It's leading you to the Queen of Cups, someone that is ready for new love, that is ready for the emotional uh, prosperity that your heart and your soul so desires to have. So, wow, that's your passionate new beginning. So let's see, why is the nine of fire here, please? Please, can we see why is the nine of fire here? Okay, wow, guys, king of wands. Now this guy is a very, very passionate king and he knows what he wants and he gets it. That is beautiful. That nine, that nine of wands, that warrior energy that, that is so purposefully moving forwards, pushing forward to get what you want. That's exactly it. Can I have one more card? Okay, I'm just gonna take that top one. It's the Knight of Pentacles. So this is slow but stable movement of energy. Okay, this the Queen of oh, the King of um, the King of Wands is, a, is, is fire is, is fast moving energy. It's you know it just it goes it goes. It's got very it's got a lot of fire. It's got a lot of passion. 
Um, and but this guy also knows what he wants. But this, this is almost like I, I feel there's this is he's bringing in like a, a bit of a balance in this energy because this why wants to go go go. This why says hold on hold on slow and steady, but stable. So it's it's this this guy is bringing in an offer. Oh, and look look what's at the bottom of the deck is temperance. It's bringing in the balance. So instead of you just rushing forward and going to get what you want, this guy is telling you to just calm down a little bit and we will get there, but then we will get there on a permanent basis. This is something slow and steady, but permanent and stable. Please, can we have, there we go, call. And once again, we have the nine of wands. This is that warrior energy again, pushing forward to get what it, to get what you want. Please, can we have one more card to clarify call? Why is the call card here, please? Why is the call card here? Can we have one card of clarification for call, please? <laughs> no, this is just too good to be true. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. So guys, I feel, I feel that you do have a lot of passion and you do have a lot of drive, but I feel that whatever or whoever is helping you or is trying to help you is coming in to get you to the place of balance. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck again, the hermit. This is lighting your own road. This is. This is going within and seeing what it is that you want, that king of wands. But then the hermit is someone that, that knows himself, herself, this energy. It's not male or female, but this, the hermit is someone that has done the inner work and you put yourself in a hermit mode, but you take yourself out of hermit mode as well. And I think that's, that might also be the reason why these pentacles are here. Um, the pentacles are here to just simmer down that fire a little bit because yes, um, you're victorious now. And when you're victorious um, in love or in, 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 in the heart space, you have this very quick moving energy. And I feel that maybe when you start to get going, you must just, just slow down a little bit, just slow down a little bit so you can go inwards and keep on listening to what your intuition is telling you because i feel that if you do if you do go too fast and you don't have that bit of temperance that you might burn out so in saying that i'm going to draw an angel answers card for you for a bit of guidance to see what they have to say but Gemini, I do feel that it's it's almost I, <laughs> it's like I feel I feel this fire that's being lit under your under your butt, and I feel that when you feel that fire, you're gonna just freaking go. But don't burn yourself out. When you get that feeling, just slow down a little bit, just a little bit, because that slowing down would bring you to a place of permanent stability, not just fleeting stability. And I think this is a very important message for you. So clean it up, clean it up, but don't get to that point again where you will have to clean it up again. So when you get going, it's gonna be very fast and very passionate. Just temper it down a little bit. Thank you angels for your guidance and your presence. Please can we have one card for Gemini for guidance for the last two weeks of August, please. Can we please have two cards of guidance for the last two weeks of August? And we have success. What more do you want, Gemini? What more do you want than success? This is the most beautiful angel answers card that you can want is success. Whatever it is that you're going to do for the next Two weeks in August is going to be very successful and you are just absolutely going to be so happy. Gemini, um, I wish you a beautiful next two weeks. Please enjoy your new mood. 
enjoy the rest of um, August and um, I will see you soon. Love and light.